But anyways, I'm going to move on to L.A. Knight and Logan Paul. So here's L.A. Knight coming out. No, no, here's Logan. He came out with some rapper, some white guy. MGK. All right. Robert knows who he is. I don't fucking know. Here's L.A. Knight coming to the ring with uh, Logan Paul's uh, car, I guess. It's an SUV or something with with the prime, yeah, the prime energy drink on it and he broke the window when he, he returned it but he broke the window so he brought it back to the arena he, he stole it the night before on smackdown anyways he comes to the arena they have a match um i, I don't want to mention anything other than the ending when mgk i guess this guy slipped him his brass knucks to logan paul and it looked like he got a shot in on him like he hit him on the head the commentators even said he did and then right when logan paul was going to flip into the ring uh, L.A. Knight caught him by the arm and gave him the blunt force trauma and smashed his face into the ground and ended up getting the win in the United States Championship. There he is, L.A. Knight, finally. Finally got made at SummerSlam. All right, who wants to comment on this? Who did I, who did I say first last time, Vlad? I think I, I think I was first. Last time. All right, Robert, Robert then. Well, what's, what's your review for this Logan Paul L.A. I Knight? I gave it match? one thumbs up. Well, just okay. one thumb. It was a decent match. You know, Logan has proved himself to be a natural talent, and he's picked up on professional wrestling pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm very. Even though I, I think I predicted a Logan Paul victory because it was Cleveland. I, I did predict Logan w- w- would win this, but I am so happy I was wrong because LA Knight really needed this. Mm-hmm. He's been hot for uh, with the crowd for how long now? More, I don't know, at least a year or so. So it, it's it was due. This this was definitely due for him. So that that's uh, my main takeaway was you know this was a decent match and Lo- Logan finally got a belt. Um, other than that, yeah, no, not much else to say about this. Uh, that's my review. <laughs> All right. Well, Logan Paul did the job here. Put him over. Didn't, uh, didn't, he, he played business. He did business with them. All right. So that's nice. All right. Let me move on to Vlad. Vlad, you got one minute on the clock. Your rating here, I think, was just a, an Orange Cassidy half thumbs up or what? Correct. Yes. Yes. I mean, it wasn't, uh, not that it was a bad thing or anything. I, I thought it was, the match itself was just okay. I, I don't think it deserved uh, two thumbs up or even a full one thumb up, you know, type of situation. I thought it was solid. It was good. The right guy went over. Um, they need to start pushing L.A. Knight. I think with L.A. Knight, the, the personality and the character is a lot stronger than the wrestling ability in the ring. So I think he – I mean, I don't know if they're going to have him work on that or, or or not, or is he just going to be kind of be what he is, which is fine. Mm. So you think the in ring work is the thing that's holding him back from being a top guy? I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Now, I don't know. There's plenty of guys that have still gotten over and been great, uh, despite not being, like, tremendous in the ring, but still being a great personality. Ultimate Warrior mm-hmm. kind of comes to mind as one of those guys. But not saying that he's the ultimate, you know, as bad in the ring as Ultimate Warrior, but just saying that there are plenty of guys that can still get over based on their the crowd reaction, the personality, the, the strength of the character more so than the wrestling aspect of things. And I think LA Knight is currently kind of in that situation. So we'll see what happens with him. I'm happy for him because I, I want him to succeed. He's one of the most popular wrestlers in the company. He gets one of the loudest pops every time he comes to the to the ring. The crowd usually eats up everything he says. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I mean, um, I mean, I'm kind of curious where, where his career trajectory is going to be going forward. Well, well, look, Robert was saying how he was so hot like a year ago, like yeah. so, so hot. Maybe the hottest thing on a show that was kind of maybe struggling a little bit. But he never got pushed I, to that point where he was like champion. Although he was like for like a three, four week period, he was like as hot well, as anybody from, ever. From what, I, from what I've heard, they didn't put a belt on him because they weren't sure if he was going to stay with the company. That, that's mm. what I heard. All right. Well, look, so one last they, question before we yeah. move on from L.A. Knight. And I asked you this last night, but does anyone see him having potential to be in Cody's spot? Can he be the top guy and, no. you know, lead the company? Robert? I don't think so. No? no. It's just a gimmick. L.A. Knight is just yeah. a gimmick. 
Um, I say not at this time, not at this point in time. I mean, not to say. What would have to change? Uh, I don't really know uh, because I don't know the in, the inner workings of what's going on in the you know backstage or anything like that. I can only see what you know the shows that we're watching. I really think it could have something to do with uh, the in ring work is just not as strong as it needs to be. Not not like not that it's awful. It's not like awful. It's solid. It's passable. It's good. I enough. think it's I think it's the gimmick. Honestly, I think it's the gimmick. I think too many people say he's like sounds too much oh. like The Rock, and that sure. it's just it's just like a novelty. It's not like it's not meant to be, like that he's gonna actually ever be the top guy. I don't think I don't know. Yeah, we were asking, is this gonna be L.A. Knight's greatest moment, his peak, the United States Championship? Because he probably won't be world champion or it might be or universal. I think it's possible. Undisputed it's possible. champion. I think it's well, possible are... because look at. The... Look at the champions currently. Like he's not over any of those guys. Like he's not over Gunther. He's not over Cody. He wouldn't be over uh, Roman, obviously. What? Uh, La Knight versus even, Gunther. He, I could see that. He's not, he's not even over. He's not even over Sarah. Yeah. So yeah, all those well, guys. Are, all those guys yeah. are much more uh, worthy as champions. I and guess well, it remains to be seen we'll see. whether he'll ever yeah. reach that height again that he was like for that three four week stretch where he was like the man well the problem is what happened is when he was the man for those three four weeks is before punk came back before the rock came back for the wrestlemania push uh yeah he was legitimately getting massive pops but yeah because even then, roman but, wouldn't be there every day so he was the he but, was literally the biggest star on smackdown for a few yeah, weeks but and then, everyone loved but then when those guys came back to like really huge stars maybe that hurt him a little bit too you know as well so kind of throw that out there as well well we'll see i I think it also depends on timing angles and how the fans react to him because hopefully everyone else gets hurt if the fans if the fans start (laughs) cheering for him as loudly as they did around this time last year you know they uh the management might change their mind and actually put um one of the major titles on it. We'll see.